next up. Hello beauties and welcome to a, another message board. I apologise if I'm talking a little bit quieter than usual. I am, but it's just yesterday in the house and I'm so paranoid about the appeal being in love. I'm not weird, I'm awesome, um, just the odd is awesome. So yes, I am talking to myself. So anyway, I lost the speed build footage for this. I kind of recovered it and then half of it ended up corrupted so I thought I would just do a quick one and this is an awesome build it was a request by one of my amazing subscribers and you've stuck with me for such a long time so I love you and thank you you're awesome and the idea was that this would be a stately whimsical home for a politician rather than necessarily focusing more on the politician part I kind of went more for a work from home vibe so the idea is that it has the most epic office ever and then I love just the idea of having it stately and yet something that's really different and I tried to take this through the whole of the build so this build is called which was just basically given a name by my friend because I came to your video and I was basically like oh no I haven't even named the thing so anyway it is Rockport Bay and it is in Br Brindleton Bay, and I believe I pronounced that wrong, but anyway, it's on the 40 by 40 lots. And so that kind of is where it got its name from as well. This is a really difficult one to figure out what to call, to be honest, I have no idea. But anyway, to get this whimsical part of the request, I kind of added the modern top to it. I originally I was going to go for a look that made it look more like it was an extension or an adaption onto it and then I ended up adding the brick and trying to make it look like actually it's a stately build, it's meant for the world but actually it's quite a new build and yeah it's all sort of goes together as one whilst I'm trying to make it look like two distinct parts. So as we go around the build you can just basically see all the extra decoration and things for the exterior I added lots of items from the get famous pack all the windows and lots of the other decoration is from the discover university and then also vampires and when it comes to the inside everything gets a little bit more crazier as to what packs I've used it's pretty much all of them like I do with quite a lot of my builds and I think it's about time I challenged myself to do a base game build only. I'll get around to it eventually. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about that whole idea, to be honest. So we've got the outside, as you can see, we've got this modern part, which is primarily on the left hand side. And the rest of it kind of comes together nicely and then sort of has the little terrace at the bottom. And it's kind of really made to pull it all together. So you have this whole stately element going through, so you've got the design in the corner that goes all the way up the corner with like the little bricks and that's all the same design so it goes across the modern part and the stately part to kind of bring them together. And my favourite part, which I just missed because I pressed the wrong button, it should be this one. No it's not, we'll try again. Ta-da! You can see just down here there is a small little gap and it's basically a little tunnel that goes from one side to the other. So basically I am going to do my best to use the tab camera which I am absolutely rubbish at so we will see how we go. I, am, I always forget what buttons are what so I'm probably going to end up concentrating onto that too much and forgetting everything else. So this is my little tunnel that I absolutely fell in love with this idea. Originally it was just not going to do that and I was going to happily have everything just as it was nice and simple and then when I kind of added this third floor it kind of turned into a, a ground area down here and then we went up from there and there's lots of landscaping that happened and I'm actually really really relieved with how well this is done because we've got several bathrooms you can see apparently <laughs> Well, I've moved someone in and forgot to put a mailbox. There is a mailbox here. This is something that I frequently do. I forget to put my mailbox in and so it just appears in random places when you build it. And we've got this little bathroom here which I am not having a good time with and I've kind of just tried to blend it in with the rest of it, especially on this floor. This whole floor is very modern and there's not a lot else going on. Um, so we've got a little 
just got on it with the cord, there's more gin here. I'm going to attempt to turn around and yeah, you can see this even though you can still see to how awful I am. Ah, there we go. So we've got that and then we come over this way. And this is sort of like the main courtyard area we've got through here. I wanted to divide things off just to give them a little bit of privacy, make this a little bit more got what the word was natural so the idea actually was originally to try and make this part a little cave and I did have landscaping on both sides oh hello Simeon again but it kind of looked really spindly I can figure it out which of course I can't so I hope you enjoy looking at the floor and the ceiling there we go so we've got all this extra nature of it and I basically tried to make it look like that all sort of nature and relaxing I kind of with this bit, there's quite a few areas where I try to add in some of the equipment, the laps, etc. that kind of emphasise you've got work and stuff that there's no work and wait, it's not all work and play. I don't know how that saying goes, but I think I know what I mean. I know what I mean, but whether you do, I'm going to think about that really hard and hopefully I'll be able to get back to you. So we've got another little off section here where we've got a ceiling apparently. Oh my gosh, yes, I know that's a beautiful lot. Hello, Miss J. Ah, something happened. There we go. So we have this, and this is just, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So I'm, I'm giving up. So I'm going to stay away from that, and we're just going to have the UI showing. So then we have the little hot dog area as well. So we go up. Here onto the first floor, everything that then sort of gives that more traditional look on the inside. So I'm going to attempt it again. Dun, 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 how will it go? Well, at least we got through the doors. So I start off with the entrance hall. I kind of kept with a more traditional look. I think the most modern part though is this skull that's in the middle. And it's more about artwork for showing the two different sides and it's the modern side and the other side. That was the easiest way I could do to me to be able to show it. So we go across this way, where it's all a bit long dated, sorry about that. And over here we've got a little living room. You can see again, I've gone mainly with the idea of it being. So then we carry on through into like this bar sort of area and again we've got a few modern bits that really I tried to make stick out so we've got the, the lighted, lighted, the, the lit up shelves with the alcohol, I was about to say moonshine, a little bit too much playing with redemption apparently and the other part of the, we've tried to really put the modern and traditional together is with this bit of artwork which is uh, the tree signs from <laughs> from dying out and I just had with the lights behind him and then the little archways in it it's all quite simple in all honesty when it came to trying to put, mix the two ideas together it was definitely felt like artwork was the way to go we have another bathroom in here this is my favorite bathroom I have done ever I have not used so much black before in a very long time, so we've got all of this black and the darker colours to it, and of course some, oh, yes, because we want that in our bathroom. Okay, I give up, I need to just learn to stop sometimes and quit my own head, and you can all see that my sim is very unhappy. So anyway, we've got a darker theme with it, we've got the... The realm of magic wall there um of course i have no curtain up but at least there's a bush in the way so that could be worse then we come into the dining room with the dining room i managed to get a little bit more modern into it i tried to sort of stick with the color schemes while well, they modern features are the fireplace and the table and then everything else is sort of meant to look a little bit more traditional yeah, then we go into, I really do apologise for this video, 
I really messed up with that speed build content that I did. It's driving me crazy, but because this was such an awesome build to do, I could not do a video, and I would feel bad if one of my awesome subscribers just missed out because I'm a bit of a div sometimes. So we've got lots of counters. These are from the Parenthood, and I've used this sort of greeny blue shade that sort of matches the jungle living tiles behind. I wanted this bit to look very homely. And I kind of feel like that definitely matched. However, there were small things that kind of relate back to that more traditional look. And one of those is the little scales here. And the, I can't remember what they're called, the little towels hanging up and the little wooden artwork. But mostly this is modern. And so I've tried to go both ways with it, having a room that's modern and adding a traditional twist. And obviously the other way, I found the other way a lot easier. That was definitely more in my comfort zone. So we come out to my favourite room, which is actually the library. So I've managed to sort of make it curl around where the stairs are. Stairs, blah, blah, blah. So we've kind of got that. They've got little windows at the bottom, which is on the tower. I kind of feel like I like them at the bottom there. They're really cute. And I normally don't have windows at the bottom. And this is something that I done with this. And it's awesome definitely think that the unit again then we've kind of got a little seating area that makes it a little bit more modern that comes off the edge of it just to to have a little area to read more than anything and then the last room which is actually the very first room that I started building is a music room and it's all very chilled out you'll probably recognize the design on the walls if you'd seen my most recent recreation I had went on crazy with these little panels from the spa day and basically my modern part here is this beautiful blue mirrors that just literally light up the whole room and that's the first floor so if we go on to the second one and this is where we mainly have bedrooms really kind of chilled out area we've got this sort of little through area which i'm sort of trying to make as modern and bright as possible especially with the neutral tones that are on the wall so i've added that mostly because i was going to have a archway that i could just lead into this hallway but it just was in the wrong place for the stairs we ended up over this little extending room here and i love the way it worked out i went really deep they were Hur. anyway so we've got another little bathroom and then we go into the bedrooms trying to vary the bedrooms a little bit so this is a more modern bedroom it's got like the um more traditional looking curtains depending on how you look at it with those curtains but definitely with the furniture it's it looks a lot more traditional and onto this room which is meant to be the main room yet again i've kind of gone the opposite direction so like, the main theme in it is traditional and i've added a few little more modern bits like the the clock the artwork more than anything just to make it stand out and try and mix those two together and i'm going to try and do this video really quickly because i can imagine it's probably quite boring this is not as good as a speed build we've got a very modern child's rooms and another one over here which is like a little nursery i find with speed builds i get mesmerized with them even when i'm recording i sort of just sit there after a while and just stare at it like oh I always meant to say something then. So we've got another bedroom and then we've got another one over here again which focuses a little bit more on the modern and a lot less on the traditional. But it could just depend on the person that you put into this room and maybe it just suits their personality better. We've got this other little free room with obviously I have one of these in pretty much every build. I have a little artist area. It doesn't really necessarily say much about me but it's also always facing a window so you can look out and feel inspired and, and that's the basic idea and then obviously finally get into that main office, office at the top and this is kind of i struggled to make this with a more traditional look so most of the traditional look is in the hallway just with the decoration and i am going to try and do this again because I don't know when to give up. Oh, oh, yep, give up before you start sometimes. 
that's what I need to learn. So I've put the walls down just to make it a little bit easier so we don't see the roof and so I can actually control what I'm doing. So this sort of leads into our main office where this hallway is really extended and I was originally going to have stairs go straight up into this room and instead I ended up following them from the current tower and having a little long hallway. So there's like four main elements and sections to this. So the first one is more like your little recreation section. So we've got the pool table. Pool, that's, no, I want a pool table. The ping pong table. And we've got like coffee. It's not coffee, that's tea. I know what I'm doing, just about, definitely not. And then we've kind of got the ultimate relaxation area. So obviously everybody needs a little spa in their office. So we've got a massage parlor. We've got all the bubbles around the outside. And on the side we've got the um, the waterfall with the candles as well. So we kind of want to give a bit of privacy from the outside. If I got rid of that, uh, it'd kind of be like, hey everybody, I'm getting a massage. Well, but that's a bad thing. They make everybody jealous, already makes me jealous, and I just love bubbles. Bubbles! I love this effect of putting the two dividers together so you can see through it onto the divider that's from the island living pack. I was about to say paradise something and I was like nope that's Sims 3. So we kind of got that little divider and then we've got over here just a small seating area just for chilling in. It looks a little bit more official just using the traditional sense of the, the style so with the the chairs mostly and just a little bookcase thing or the bookcase casey thing that's there with the boat on top basically that's the one area that has that more traditional look and then we go over to our office and obviously it's like it can be a nice little place for a meeting and then we've also got the rest of it with lots of objects we used from the get to work pack that are unlockables but i really wanted to make it like a little bit more corporate whether it's for a politician or somebody else, I feel like this is definitely the one office I would love to live in and work from home all the time. And that was the basic idea, as I've already said right at the beginning, that rather than focusing necessarily on a politician's house, I wanted to make it an awesome work from home area. So as usual with the landscape, you know, I've added a few little flowers around the outside. I haven't done much this time. I haven't gone over the top with the garden i just wanted to make it quite natural and with my landscaping i i didn't know how to add these big gardens we just added lots of small little flowers and a little place to sit and chill as well it's it's all very simple the garden which is very different for me but i also managed to put it on a smaller plot so that makes me very happy just knowing it's on a small lot anyway guys i do apologize again for my lack of speed build because i had an epic fail but i mean if you're gonna make epic builds you're gonna learn to fail sometimes and that's something i do a lot it just usually is enough to cover it up anyway guys thank you so much for being awesome don't forget to continue building hope this has maybe inspired you to try something different and try and put these two different styles together and see what you come up with honestly this is an amazing idea and as much as I didn't come up with it myself, I honestly, I, I never would have come up with it myself, which is what I need you guys for. You're here to tell me what to do and then hopefully you give me ideas and I'm like yes this is epic, so don't be afraid to drop a request in the comments. I love all your requests, I really get inspired by them and that's how I get builds like this, just because your ideas inspire me. So guys stay awesome, stay amazing and have a great day.